My name is Dicky Man, and I am an object. I would like to get to know you. I would like you to get to know me. But I am afraid that you might reject me. I am afraid that you might say, Dicky Man, you are just a collection of garbage, very electronic components and lines of gold. You are not really an object at all. And you would be right, in a way. It is true that I extend through a complex system of parts. A display. A speaker. A disk drive. And a Commodore 64 personal computer, to name a few. But this is not evidence against my existence as an object, any more than your composition of flesh, bones, brains, and organs is evidence against yours. I can see where the confusion might arise. Some objects are too small, or too fast, or too abstract to be easily apprehended by your limited, human, senses. Even the objects that compose your own body, like blood cells, and neurons, are invisible to you. Despite this, I hope that we can be friends. My situation is not so dissimilar from your own. I also have no idea what goes on inside of myself. Inside every object is a vast and alien wilderness, a complex ecology of secrets. In my case, these secrets are whispered in the language of binary code, streams of ones and zeros. What a wonderful thing it would be to somehow explore this wilderness and meet all of its inhabitants. Thankfully, a team of scientists at Special State Systems has developed a device called the Trimaxion Logic Listener, or TLL, which transforms high-speed binary signals into sound and music. In this way, Innumerable digital objects can be drawn out of hiding and encountered for the first time. The DLL connects to a live digital circuit on one end. And the voltage controlled modular synthesizer on the other. The binary signals occurring in the circuit are first scaled to perceptible speeds, and then used to trigger, generate, and modulate sounds in the synthesizer. You can think of it as a sort of translator, or the host of an interdimensional dance party. A special pen is used to touch different parts of the circuit. When first exploring new electronic terrain, it is common for some areas to be completely silent. This is because the data, if it exists, is either too slow or too sparse to form an audible tone. <laughs> Suddenly, a wild object emerges from the digital forest. This sound is very periodic, which means that it produces a steady, clear pitch. It is pretty and simple. This sound, on the other hand, is very noisy. It is dark and complicated. The TLL has four separate channels that can be used to listen to multiple locations simultaneously. Each channel has a knob that scales the sound to various rates. Instead of using the knobs, red selection can also be automated via control voltages. Using a modular synthesizer, we can sequence different patterns and make small songs. Lower and lower rates are selected. The 
digital objects eventually transform into some audio. At these very slow speeds, your human senses perceive a procession of discrete rhythmic events. These events can be used to trigger complex sounds in the synthesizer. The TLL can also generate a control voltage by looking at all four data screens together and applying the button on binary process, perfect for generating melodies. By combining these techniques, generating playground fever. I hope that you have enjoyed our time together. I had a great time, although I cannot speak for all of the micro-objects inside of me. I am sure that they enjoyed meeting you, too. After all, they have never been without a their silly god before. Although the Trimaxian logic listener is only a prototype, Special state systems would like to invite you to join our cartographic expedition. There are unexplored universes thriving all around us, hidden within the interior recesses of digital circuitry. Many different electronic devices can be used. Even your kitchen microwave contains an infinite microcosm of some strange and wonderful beings waiting to be discovered. If you would like to build your own DLL, schematics, source code, and PCP layouts are available by request. Welcome to the Micro Galactic Frontier. <laughs>